Good afternoon. It's an honor to have yet another opportunity to address the National Whistleblower Center. As many of you know, I was a prosecutor for more than 20 years, and anyone who's worked in law enforcement knows that whistleblowers are a critical resource in criminal investigations. In fact, there are certain crimes that would be impossible to prove unless someone with direct knowledge steps forward, often risking their jobs and even their safety. And during my time in Congress, I've seen firsthand the valuable role that whistleblowers play in our efforts to conduct oversight and reform. That's been especially true of our work on the Veterans Affairs and Homeland Security Committees. One of our biggest long-term priorities on the VA Committee is to reform the culture within the VA, and that is not an easy thing to do. When you have a big bureaucracy that's been through scandals like the VA has in recent years, there's a tendency to close ranks, silence critics, and prevent anyone from digging deeper. And that's why, where we rely so heavily on whistleblowers. They are on the front lines of this VA reform effort, exposing fraud, theft, and mismanagement, and often facing retaliation for it. And just this year, whistleblowers at the Department of Homeland Security revealed that Custom and Border Protection agents were targeting and detaining American journalists, attorneys, and immigration activists at the southern border. The story made national headlines and led to an investigation. The simple truth is, real government reform and accountability simply would not be possible without the bravery of whistleblowers who come forward. That's why I joined with three of my colleagues from both parties to create the House Whistleblower Protection Caucus so that we could take the lead on strengthening whistleblower protections and educate other members and staff about best practices for working with whistleblowers. The National Whistleblower Center has also done a lot of excellent work on this subject, and I appreciate that because this is an issue that I care about a great deal. So I want to thank you all for everything that you do and for inviting me to address your group today.